Assalamu alaikum, dear viewers. As you can see, I have received some comments from one of my viewers, Suraj Joshi, who is interested in tutorials about the use of some tools used in MD simulation, especially Chimera. So I have started a series of videos about Chimera. This is the first tutorial of the series. Inshallah, there will be a few more videos about Chimera, and then we will move to the other tools he has demanded. I hope Suraj Joshi and my other valuable viewer will definitely like this series and in return I expect them to like, share and subscribe my channels and videos. Thanks in advance. Now, let's start our today's lesson. This is the interface of Chimera 1.15. You can see the interface is divided into several blocks. This block is for tools icons. I will show you how to add tools icons in this box. Below this is the help box. In the center, this upper window is called scene window, where your molecule structure will be visualized. This right upper window shows the history of scenes you recently opened. You can see it is showing three molecules that we have recently opened in the scene window. Below this window, you can see three options. Browse, Fetch and Edit. I will show you the use of all of these, one by one. First, let's come to adding tools to the tools window. Click this add tool icon. Now, check all the boxes of all those tools that you want to add to the window. I will check all the boxes. As you can see, the tools are appearing as soon as you check its box. Our next objective is to change the location of tools menu. Click this button in front of toolbar placement. Select right, top, or bottom to show your tools menu at that position. This rapid access option will show most of the tools in the window, and you will not have to scroll down for more tools. After this, click save, to save this configuration. Our next objective is to open a recently closed molecule. If you have opened and closed any structures recently, they will appear here. You need just to click on your desired structure. The structure will immediately appear in the scene window. Close this session from this option of the file menu. Now open another structure from the history and then close the session. Our next objective is to remove the objects from the history. To do this, you just need to check this edit box first. Now click the cross of any object you want to remove from the history. That item will disappear from the window. Once the items are removed, uncheck the edit box. Now, let me show you how to download and fetch a protein structure from online resources. To achieve this objective, you have to click this fetch button. Here is the list of online databases. You can download your structure from any database, if you know the code or ID of the structure in that database. I will show you to download the structure from PDB. Just type your code here and then click on fetch. Here is the structure. Close this session now. Opening an already downloaded structure. One of the methods is to click this browse button. This will open this window. Go to the location where your structure is downloaded. I have my structure in the download folder. This is the structure I want to open. Just click it and open. So, here is your structure. Ok, now let's come to the file menu. In the file menu the first thing I am going to tell you is to open the downloaded structure. This is method number 2. 
You just need to click open, then go to the location, select your molecule and click open. Your structure will be opened. In file menu, the second thing I am going to tell you is downloading the structure from online resources. Remember, this is the second method. In this method, you go to file menu, then click fetch by ID. The rest of the procedure is the same, I showed you in method 1. The structure will be added to the already opened structure. You have to close the first structure, if you want the new structure to be opened in a new window. Our next objective is saving the session. A Chimera session is the state of Chimera during use. It means, that you have opened a file in Chimera, and it is in certain state, means how much zoomed, which position in the window, how much rotated, what added, and the colors etc. of the structure. All these things are saved in a Python file with .py extension. That file is called session file of Chimera. Let's now save a session. For this purpose, go to file. Click on save session. Type the name of the session. This is the resolution of the file. You can change it. Click save. The session is saved now. How to close an open session. Just go to file menu and click on closed session. The session will be closed. Our next objective is to restore a saved session. To do this, just go to file menu, click on restore session. Go to the location your session is saved in, then click the session file, and open it. Close the other windows before opening the new session. Look, the session is opened now. As you can see, the two molecules are opened in the same angle, same position, and same state, in which they were saved. Close this session now. If you want to save the image of your structure, for publication etc., then first rotate the structure to the proper view. Set the image in your desired color. There are other options that you need to do, before producing a publication quality image, but in today's tutorial I am not going into details about that. Those things will be taught in the coming lessons, inshallah. After setting all options, go to File, click Save Image. Select the location, where you want to save your image. Type the name of the image. Then select the format and click save. Your image is saved now. Now let's open the saved image. Just go to the location and open the image in your desired image viewer. Saving the structure in PDB format. For this purpose, go to File, Save PDB, select the location, name the file and click Save. Your structure is now saved in PDB format.
This is the file we just saved. You can also save your structure in Motu format. Just go to File, select Save as Motu. Name the file and save it. This is the file we just saved. You can also save your structure into formats other than PDB and Motu. For that you have to click export in the file menu. Select the file type from here. Type the name of the file and click save. You can also publish your structure to the sketchfab.com database of 3D models. To publish your model to the database just go to file, click publish, fill in the data in this form. Click apply and OK. The last objective of today's tutorial is to close Chimera. But before closing, let me show you the website where you can publish your models. Just type this address and open the database. This is the database where people upload every kind of 3D models. You can see a shoe model here. You can rotate it with your mouse. Whatever you publish from inside your Chimera through the publish button of the file menu will be uploaded to this website. You can create your account in this website. Here is the list of models that can be downloaded. Let me show you this monster model. These are the categories of different kinds of models. You can select any category to see those kinds of models. You can search for a model here. Let me search for a protein model. Here is what appeared. Let me select one of them. This is the protein 3D model someone has already uploaded. Now let's close Chimera. Just go to file. Click on quit. Your Chimera is closed now. So this was all about the file menu. In my next lesson, we will inshallah, learn about the select menu. Till then bye. But don't forget to subscribe my educational, entertainment, and animation channels. Thanks in advance.